Okay, and I'll be introducing you to the hard yard this evening. So, if you've got a criminal record, it's really bad news. And if you have a criminal record and you're trying to look for a job, it's even worse news. Now, this statistic isn't due to a lack of will or skill on the part of people coming out of prison. They often gain qualifications while they're inside, they've got strong entrepreneurial flair, and they really want to work. However, if you've got 60% of employers not even looking at your application, you're already at a disadvantage. And that leaves you skin, uninspired, and more likely to reoffend. This is such a waste of talent. So I got thinking, could we build a social business that actively sought to employ these people coming out of prison and use their experiences inside as an asset? Q, the hard yard, which hopes to do just that. She might guess by what I'm wearing. We're a tough outdoor workout designed and led by ex-prisoners. Um, excuse me. Um, we run as a profitable business. I'm not frightened of profit, so it helps to fund our six-month training programs, which achieve two different things. Firstly, we provide practical support for people, so income, skills, and work experience to get their foot on the job ladder. And secondly, emotional support through peer mentorship to get people started in a new life. The Prisoners Education Trust tells us that fitness classes in prisons are unanimously oversubscribed, people are getting good pass rates, and they want to work in the industry afterwards. It's also quite telling that the Cell Workout is the most requested and stolen book in UK prison libraries. And we have the author sat just here, LJ, who you can chat to afterwards. The market's huge and it's growing. People are really interested in tough, extreme workouts with things like Tough Mudder and Reebok Spartan Race going through the roof. And people are also interested in doing good in their lives whilst they keep fit, shown by the success of Good Gym. But what nobody's done yet is brought the tough fitness and the good stuff together. And that's the part of the market that the hard job wants to take. So if you're a customer, you're going to find us on social media, a nice cheap way for us to get started. You'll come to our website where you can book workouts on either a pay-as-you-go or pay-monthly unlimited package. Then you'll need to come straight down to work out with us in the park at location near you. Your workouts will be led by a trained personal trainer and accompanied by one of our trainees. And finally, you can share your progress on our online community and compete with others around you. For our trainers, we ask for just two things. Firstly, a level two fitness instructor qualification, which is widely offered inside prisons. And secondly, a criminal record. <laughs> we recruit solely on personality. You can begin training with us whilst you're inside prison. We can teach you about our brand ethos, we can teach you our workouts, and we can teach you how to work with clients. So that in your first two weeks out of prison, you can get straight to your work shadowing a personal trainer. If you're doing well after three months, you can expect to be leaving those workouts on your own. And at the end of our six month training program, you're guaranteed an interview with us to stay on longer term, where you'll also get your level three personal trainer qualification, and you can start the cycle again, training up the new recruits. It's key for our impact that we offer these employment opportunities, and we want to take on four trainers in our first year. This also has a huge impact on reducing reoffending. Whilst people are working for us, they're not in prison. And this saves the taxpayer £144,000 in one year for just four people. We'll improve health outcomes for our clients and our trainees for both physical and mental health. And finally, we'll change perceptions so that employers no longer view people coming out of prison as burdens, but rather as the assets that they truly are. As I said before, we are a sustainable social business, so we'll be reinvesting all of our profits, but we're not afraid of it. However, we do need some help to get started. Our running costs, because we have revenue coming in right from day one, are £15,000 for a year. And that's the money that we'd be looking for in total. However, we understand if people can't stretch to that, then just £5,000 can get us well off the ground. We've got quite front-loaded costs at the beginning with things like a whole annual park license to pay and also our insurance, so we need support right from the start. With £1,500, LJ and I can get cracking on our pilot. 
LJ is already working in Walsworth Prison, and we want to get the inmates out on day release to start running the workout. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can leave you with a final thought. We've all made mistakes at some point, and we've got to be honest with ourselves about that, but we've got people coming out of prison who have to pay for those mistakes forever. That's so wrong and unfair. If you're behind ex-prisoners, support them and support the hard yard. Thank you.